So when it comes to societies that help their population, socialist systems here in the Caribbean, Cuba is second to absolutely none. I met a really interesting person and I want to introduce you guys to him just now. Here we go. In a minute, you're going to meet George, or Jorge, and he's going to tell you the story of how he ended up back here in Cuba and living on the streets. And this is Will. This yeah. is Popeyes. You remember Popeyes? Uh, yeah, yeah, Popeyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. carried it from, from the United States. Yeah, from the United States, yeah, yeah. where I lived for four years. Yeah. yeah. And this is... Uh, wow. Who were they, Guayaba? Oh, who were Guayaba, yeah. yeah. I like it very much. Uh, yeah, Guava, yeah. Guava juice. Yeah. So... Boss, I want to, here's the thing, I want to get your story, okay? I have a lot of friends in New York that come here to, yeah. to Cuba. Yeah. And I want to get your story because I want people to come and I want them to help you. Yeah. Okay, so um, when, you're done, when you're done eating, I want you to tell me your story like how you told me before. Okay, my friend. Okay, when you're done eating. Yeah, when, when I don't eat it. Okay. You prefer the, the chicken from America or the one that you get here? Mm. Chicken from America. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky, you remember, Kentucky huh? Chicken, yeah. yeah. I remember. When's I still work? remember the, yeah. good, the good old cheese from yeah. the United States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me, tell me from the beginning. Tell me from the beginning mm -hmm. um, when you left Cuba and then when you came back. Mm -hmm. I left Cuba, my friend, mm -hmm. in the 1980. 1980. Sure. From the Mariel. In Mariel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were in Miami originally. Mm -hmm. I jumped over the pen. Mm -hmm. from the embassy of Peru. Wow. I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. Only 15 years. 15 years old. 15 years old. So you're mm -hmm. born... I was what? a student. 1965. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I was born in 1965. Mm -hmm. But the light in the street had destroyed me. Mm -hmm. And I look older. Mm -hmm. I look older than what I am. Mm -hmm. Right now, when the people see me, say me, you were born and ready in city by. Oh my God, you look older. Mm -hmm. And I say, yeah, because they lie in the street, destroying the person right here. Yeah. So, I was born in 1965. Yeah, aquí en La Habana? Yeah, here in Havana. Yeah. In Liberado. In Medado, okay. Yeah. So then you went to New York. Yeah. And then you're working in New York. Yeah, I yeah. work in New York as a professor of English. Mm. Teaching to the people who doesn't know English. Yeah. Until I received the sad news mm -hmm. of my wife, the mother of my children mm -hmm. here in Cuba, died of cancer. She died of cancer. Yeah. I have to come back to Cuba mm -hmm. and take care of my children. Mm -hmm. And that was the moment more sad, mm -hmm. the saddest moment of my life, because my children. When they grew up, mm -hmm. they never recognized all what I did for them. Mm -hmm. And they married mm -hmm. with beautiful European women mm -hmm. and American women mm -hmm. and went up to Europe and to the United States and never take care about the poor old man that mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. his father, become. Mm -hmm. And then I say, what about you? You mm -hmm. don't care about me? And they say, Papa. The life here is very hard, and we only have money for us and for our wife. So we cannot help you. They said he can't help you. Yeah. And do you have grandkids now? Mm -hmm. You have grandkids now and nietos? Yeah. Yeah. I have a granddad that they never come yeah. to see me here in Cuba, to visit Cuba, mm -hmm. because my boys Never take care about that to say, let's go to Cuba mm -hmm. to see your mm -hmm. old grandpa. Mm -hmm. Nothing of that. Mm -hmm. They forgot me mm -hmm. like if I were a dog on the street. And uh, what's your name? My name is George. George? George. And the people call me 
York, New York, yeah. because I was living in New York mm -hmm. all the time of my life. Mm -hmm. In the 40 years, yeah. I live in New York. Mm -hmm. I visit all the United States. Mm -hmm. I go to many cities and many states, but always I come back yeah. to my home base mm -hmm. that was New York, New York City. Mm -hmm. So you I love in New York, my beat up. Yeah. Did you live in Manhattan? Did you live in? Yeah. Yeah. I live in Manhattan. I live in Brooklyn. Yeah. I live in Harlem. Uh -huh. I live in Rockaway. Wow. I live in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Oh, many places. Yeah. Yeah. I had the opportunity mm -hmm. to live in many places of New York and to knew the great New York. Mm -hmm. The great New York in 40 years. Mm -hmm. Only the disgrace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bad thing, the bad luck mm -hmm. came to me. My wife died of cancer, and that was the moment that I got to come back to Cuba and mm -hmm. say, oh my God, what a fucking disgrace. Yeah. Now I had to take care of my children yeah. because my wife died of cancer. Very young, mm -hmm. she was young, she was not so old. She was only 42 years mm -hmm. when she died of cancer. And wow. I say, oh my God, I gotta come back to Cuba. Mm -hmm. What a disgrace. Mm -hmm. But I never regretted that because I say, in my children, mm -hmm. in my boys, I had to do it mm -hmm. because it's my duty mm -hmm. as a father. Mm -hmm. But they don't recognize that, my friend. Mm -hmm. That I am grateful. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful. No, but you definitely yes. did the right thing in taking care of them. Yeah. You definitely did. And I say, oh my God, yeah. you know that I did everything good for my children. Mm -hmm. Maybe you, from the heaven, mm -hmm. are watching all the time my good action. Mm -hmm. And someday, you reward me mm -hmm. in some way. You reward me for what I did for my children and what I did for my mm -hmm. wife mm -hmm. as long as yeah. she was alive. Mm -hmm. So so where do you live now? I live in the street, my brother. In La Calle. In La Calle. Here. Yeah. And sometimes I sleep here. Yeah. And when the rain coming down and falling down the yeah. the, the, the rain drops, I got to hide away over there. Hide away over there yeah. and take care about me oh, over there. Over there? Over, over there. there that is a roof. Yeah. A little roof. And sometimes Mm -hmm. When the night is very cold, yeah. I, I got another refugee. Mm -hmm. He's uh, here around the corner. Yeah. So I try to look in some other place. Mm -hmm. That is a good refugee for me, a good shelter. Mm -hmm. Because I say, oh my God, I cannot let me die. Mm -hmm. I had to try to protect myself mm -hmm. and try to survive. Yeah. And yeah, that is so. my life every day, my brother. Yeah. It's a sad life since mm -hmm. I coming back to Cuba. Mm -hmm. And how many years are you in Cuba now? Uh, from 2000, mm. 2007. 2007 yeah. until now. I returned to Cuba in 2007. 2007. 2007. Yeah. Yeah. Before Obama arrived to Cuba. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I that see. is a sad history. Mm -hmm. Because since I come back to Cuba, I receive nothing. Yeah. I don't receive a pension from the government. Yeah. I don't receive a hell right. from nobody. And they don't give you any housing or anything like that? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. They not even give me a house. They said to me one time, we're going to give you a house. We know the situation of you, mm -hmm. the people who live in the United States, mm -hmm. and now are here in Cuba. We're going to help you. That was all lies. That was all, like they say in New York, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But at the last, my yeah. friend, nothing. So I didn't do anything nothing. to you? That was in 2007. 2007. And we are in 2024. Yeah. And I received nothing. Wow. Wow. It's terrible, my friend. That's they right. lied to me. Yeah. And they lied. To many people that are in my same situation. Mm. Where you, you go abroad and you come back and then there's no help for you. Yeah. No social services. Yeah. yeah. No social services. Wow. Like to other people too. And I know that people that I know they tell me, Jojito, we are in your same condition, in your same situation. We don't receive nothing. Because it's a lie. You complete the life. They say to you, we're gonna give you social services, we're gonna yeah. give you money, we're gonna give you a pension because you are an old man. Yeah. And nothing, my friend, nothing. Wow. Right now I have so. two hernias mm -hmm. in my testicle. You have two like, hernias? Like a human, you know, have two hernias. Yeah. yeah. 
and my tattoo up, and they say they can they operate. Have, yeah, they say they cannot help me. They say that in the hospital there is no anesthesia, there is no threat, and there is no chewing uh, mm -hmm. or stitching. Yeah, no sewing. Yeah. Yeah. So they can't do that surgery for you. Nothing. They say they can do nothing. And in this situation, I, I am now for two years with a hernia. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I'm walking too much, yeah. the hernia aches me. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts it hurt too bad. Mm -hmm. It hurts awful. Mm -hmm. And I got to survive and mm -hmm. be like a warrior. Mm -hmm. Because nobody mm -hmm. is going to help me. The yeah. first person that come close to me mm -hmm. and try to help me was the the padrino, your friend. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The owner of the apartment. Mm -hmm. And now you, that I know you for the first time. Mm -hmm. Let because me ask. until now, mm -hmm. the people look at me and say, oh my God, what a poor old man. Mm -hmm. What a poor devil. But nothing more. They don't give me a money mm -hmm. to eat. They don't care about if I eat, mm -hmm. if I survive, if I get sick. Mm -hmm. Nothing, no medicine, nothing, nothing. Now let me ask you something. Yeah. Are there ever times where you have to eat out of the garbage? No. No. Okay. I never do that, my friend. Okay. Okay. You know why? What? Because I study too much in the United States. Mm -hmm. And one of the, the most important things that I study that the people mm -hmm. who eat in the garbage get sick yeah. at the end of his life yeah. with cystisemia. Yeah. Poisoning mm -hmm. of the blood. And then I say, oh my God, I can never do that. Yeah. Even when I am very hungry, yeah. I try to survive all the way, asking to one person, can yeah. you give me at least yeah. one, one person? Can yeah. you give me at least 100 person, but never eat from the garbage? Yeah. Because I know you'll die. I can die. Yeah. Yeah, like I see many other persons die mm -hmm. from eating from the garbage because they don't study yeah. like me. They don't study the boots and the boots of medicine tell me in the United States in English that all the persons that eating from the garbage mm -hmm. contract, contract yeah. at the end of the life, centisemia. Yeah. And the centisemia is the poisoning mm -hmm. of the blood. Yeah. That is terrible. And I say, no, yeah. if I am a, a person of culture mm -hmm. and education, I cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Something terrible. <coughs> something terrible for my <laughs> immune system, yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you something oh, right now. That was there. The bone? No, bone. Queso? No, picante. Picante, <laughs> see, see, see. Don't the the chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the, do you have a little more? Oh, guava juice. Guava juice? I'll, I'll buy you some right now. I'll get, I'll get you a big one. Yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. You can see my brother Kina, as you could see from five minutes ago, mm -hmm. my life was terrible. Mm -hmm. Well, but, una pregunta. Yeah. Well, why don't you have a girlfriend here? There's a lot of women here. Yeah, my friend, but... Uh, and maybe uh, they'll take you in and... Yeah, but uh, the, the reason that would the... the, the the, the girls here yeah. and the women see mm -hmm. an old man like me, mm -hmm. sick, mm -hmm. without money, penniless. Yeah. And that was it. They say, oh no, yeah. they're looking for a young, yeah. beautiful guy mm -hmm. with all the prerogatives yeah. and all the powerful and yeah. the money yeah. and the beautiful clothes. You know yeah. how the yeah. women are. Yeah. The women are very romantic. Yeah. They say, oh, poor old man, yeah. poor old man, he's a poor old guy, but yeah. they never they never pretending mm. to be with me because they say, oh, he's an old guy. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's about... Mira. Uh, yeah. All you need, all you need is a shave, haircut. Mm. You're ready. That's it. Mm. Share and maybe some clothes. That's it. Mm. But the women yeah. here in Cuba, my friend, uh -huh. have a terrible yeah. <laughs> defect. They had a terrible defect. Yeah. They have... Very materialist. Oh, they're materialistic. The 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 person the person they asking you yeah. is okay, my 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 boy. Okay, yeah. my love. Yeah. What you earn? Yeah. How much you got? What are you, you gonna do for me? What do you do for me? You're what right. do you do for living? Yeah, right, exactly. What do you do for living? Exactly. And if you have nothing, yeah. Then they say, oh no, guy, uh, go away, little boy. Yeah. Oh, go away, old man. Yeah. Because you have nothing uh -huh. to offer me. 
you cannot make me a good offer yeah. because you have nothing in your pocket. Yeah. You have not a good job. No. You are an old man, sick, yeah. Yeah. abandoned by your boys, yeah. abandoned by your children. Yeah. And now you cannot do a good offer to me. Uh -huh. And so I see that for a long time that I stay here in Cuba from the year 2007. Mm -hmm. So I lose, I lost all my hopes mm -hmm. that some women fall in love with me yeah. because they looking for Dinero. material girl. Yeah. yeah, money, 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 money. Yeah. And they are with the metallic mm -hmm. coin. Mm -hmm. And if you have not the metallic coin, they say, oh, poor old guy, I'm sorry for you, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry for you, my boy. But I can never be with you. I mm. can never take you to my home. Yeah. Because you are a man without money, yeah. without nothing, and even without help. Mm -hmm. Your help is down the floor yeah. because you are a very sick old man. Yeah. With the hernia and all that thing, they say, oh, no, my God. And so I say, okay, it's a time to be like a warrior. Mm -hmm. It's a time to be like mm -hmm. a good, strong man mm -hmm. and confronted the people and say, okay, you don't want me mm -hmm. because I have no money in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna fight all by myself. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fight for my life alone mm -hmm. until some good person with a good soul mm -hmm. like you and the Padino mm -hmm. came to me. And that is what happened today. Uh. Because until today, nobody take care about me. Man, sometimes this shit is really hard, bro. It's really hard. This side is a Cuba thing, it's a, it's a world thing. There's one thing that I would ever want in the world would be to cure poverty, okay? To take care of the sick.